Hey everyone, in my previous tutorial I covered how to use OBS with multiple scenes and global sources, but maybe you have a game where you want a different lobby scene than the in-game scene. The only real game I have to do this with is Heroes of the Storm. Now I can, since I do make a master, I could just duplicate my master, and then all these sources will be included. But for this tutorial we're going to make it separately and manually add everything in. We're going to call this New Source Hots Lobby. You can name it whatever you want. All right, now I have to add in the display capture so you can see what I'm doing. You don't need display capture, of course, because this is just for the tutorial. All right, now we have an overlay. So image, I already have an, uh, an existing source called overlay, so I have to rename it overlay one or whatever you want. Here's our overlay art. All right, now one thing I, I do is if you unload, you could choose to unload the image. You're going to still be streaming it if you don't unload it. But let's leave it loading for now. All right, now since you can't see my display capture, I'll have to put that on top. Now we do have a background image for this scene. So if you have one, want to add it in have to rename it. Go here, select that. Now, because we have a background, we have to have it below overlay. If you don't have a background, you don't have to worry. Now let's add in the sources that are going to be behind overlay. So let's add in our game capture. So you want to make sure your game capture is the same source that you had in your in-game. So we named our hots. All right, there we go. That comes really important when you do scene switching. So we now we moved it down below overlay, but above background. So if you have a background, you want your sources that are going to be under your overlay between the background and the overlay. Now with video capture devices, um, as I discussed in my previous tutorial, they're tricky because they have to be a global source and you can only have one global source per webcam. All right. And we need that below our overlay. And we'll add our chat later. So let's look at this now and see what it looks like without display capture running. So now we need to resize. So we're going to click on Here's the Storm. Game capture. And we're going to come up, grab the corner, drag it down, move it over, and then resize as it needs to be. Now you can have it slightly outside this frame because it'll the overlay will cut it off but you don't want it too far. So like you don't want it way out here. So we're gonna add it just a little bit. So that's nice. Now my sources list I'm gonna click on video capture device. Now this overlay was not made for this webcam in mind. It's an older webcam so it can only do certain resolutions. So if you can, try to make your webcam frame going to be, you know, relatively the same size. What I, I don't think it'll work being switched back and forth. This overlay was designed to have this box be my uh, webcam. So I'll work with the best I have. We'll just kind of get that kind of centered. Now with our chat, restreams. Um, chat program, chat web server is a browser source. Now we can use that. Whoops. Call it chat. We can use it separate. We don't have to add the global source. All right. There we go. Now that's the only problem. The default window is not going to be tall enough or it's too wide. So let us go to properties. Now I know through previous tinkering it's about, I think it's 1020 or close enough. And then we could resize it to fit our window. All right, so now we have this done. Now if I wanted, since I have, you know, my artwork's all up here, I don't want to cover it. You know, if I wanted to add in my, my stream jar overlay 
we could do this. So whatever you want on top of your overlay, you want to have that somewhere above. So chat, we definitely want to get under our overlay. So if you have any other, so maybe let's remove this here. Maybe I want to put in the TGN logo. So we can do image, add existing TGN logo. Maybe I wanted that like right here and go on top of my overlay or maybe right here or over here or you know wherever you want you know it doesn't look good when it's covering your artwork but you know whatever you want to do so now that we have our scene finished we have both scenes ready to go we want to set up scene switching so i'm going to turn on i'm just going to turn off the overlay here turn on display capture i'm just going to remove the well, leave that there. All right, so we're on display capture. We want to go over here to settings, hotkeys. I already had a hotkey set for switch to this scene, but you would press whatever you want. So if you want control number seven, you press the control button, number pad seven. You want to make sure that your hotkeys are not any other hotkeys that you're using. And then you also want to make sure it's not a hotkey assigned to something in game. We're going to scroll down to we find Hot's Lobby. We're going to look for the switch to scene box. It, sometimes it's here. Sometimes it's like I said at the bottom in the middle. It just really all depends. So now we want this to be Control Number Pad Four. So I have to press Control and Number Pad Four in order, order to switch. I'm going to click Apply. Now over here we can control our transitions. But right now we're just going to leave them as it is. We're going to turn display capture off. So here we are in our lobby. Oop. So ease organization, I always recommend putting your two scenes for the same game together. So now I press control pad, control number seven. Boom. Control number four. So, and you notice this. All right, so now the reason why we have to add the same global source for our game is when you do these transitions, it'll have to load, unload, or well, it'll have to load in the new game that's being carried, the new source, or the different source. So there, what'll happen is the one source will disappear, the other source takes, you know, like, I don't know, half a second to a second to load in. So by using the same uh, game capture source between both those scenes, it'll look seamless. You know, it won't be, or you know, it won't have that delay. So you see, it's pretty nice here. I don't normally use a lobby overlay because I always forget to turn it, uh, switch them back on. So now if we went to say a different duration, say we want one second in, which is 1000 milliseconds. So now it's a little bit longer fade in or fade out. If you don't want the fade, you can select cut, which just goes right back and forth. Or you can do swipe. Then I swipe back and forth. I like the fade and I like it right around the, th the 300 milliseconds. You can add in more, you know, swipe, slide, fade to color. I don't even know what Luma Wipe does. Nah. Anyways, so that should be all you need to go from here. So like I said, just make sure your overlays are fitting to your different size windows. But if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, click like. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to click subscribe. We'll talk at you later. You take me down.